Hello, everyone, and welcome to Fairly Unbalanced with me, Mike Tallon, uh, another Binghamton edition before I head back south to Antigua in a couple of days. Uh, the big news uh, that has leaked out in the past 24 hours or so is that it looks like Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg is going to arrest Donald Trump. Hallelujah. It's, um, you know, it might be for this ticky-tack uh, Stormy Daniels thing. I know Michael Cohen went to jail for a couple of years, but uh, it's not the biggest charge he's facing. There's a small chance, I think, that Alvin Bragg may, may, be, uh, may be hiding a hammer behind his back. There may be some charges in there about Trump's finances and, fingers crossed, money laundering. But that's a, but that's a reach. We shall see. But what's really important for this is that America is going to get to see Donald Trump in handcuffs and hopefully, oh my God, please, may there be one good human being working within the judicial system, the court system in New York City, who leaks that mugshot. It is going to be, ah, oh, it'll be beautiful. Um, a, a viewer of these videos sent me a note, though, and asked if I thought there would be a civil war if Donald Trump got arrested. No. There's not going to be a civil war, a civil war if Donald Trump gets arrested, really for, uh, for one reason. You need someone to lead your civil war. Um, and right now, the shock troop leaders, the three percenters, the Proud Boys, they're all going to jail for seditious conspiracy. Uh, also, we've had an object lesson in what happens to you if you decide it's a wise way to spend a Sunday afternoon or a Tuesday afternoon uh, and to go attack the foundations of American democracy, you go to jail. The other option for political leaders for a civil war against the United States and the 82nd Airborne uh, would be political leaders. Donald Trump? Don Jr.? Don coked out Weird Fingers Don Jr. leading a revolution? Oh, come on. Or Ron DeSantis? <laughs> Meatball Ron, who has also been called in a recent Truth Social Tweety thing by Donald Trump, Little D DeSantis. Uh, you know, the guy's not going to get in front of a battalion of soldiers to take on the, to take on the United States military. It's a ridiculous thought. Greg Abbott? You're going to build a wall at the southern and the northern border of Texas? I mean, the whole reason that it was important for, uh, for Donald Trump, from his perspective, to stay in power was because so long as he was living in the White House, he could legitimately claim that he was the commander-in-chief. But he's gone. It's our guy now. And our guy is going to give the orders that says if anyone actually rises up in civil war against the United States... Well, let's just say he has the tools to address that. Uh, what, about, uh, what about the Fox News folks? Is Tucker Carlson going to be calling for civil war? Can you imagine what would happen to Tucker Carlson if there actually was a civil war? When he would go not from just being an annoying twat with a 9 o'clock show on Fox News, but became an enemy of the state? and the president had emergency powers to have him arrested and detained? There's no way that that man who is cosplaying brown shirt fascism uh, has the sack to do any of that. He's going to keep twirling his bow tie and being a fool. But there's not going to be a civil war. There may be some unrest uh, next week, but it will be handled by municipal and state authorities. Uh, and part of that unrest will be me dancing down the main street of whatever city I find myself in doing a goddamn jig. So uh, I hope you join me in that. Don't worry about a civil war. Relish and celebrate the fact that this awful, fecal human being is going to just start seeing some, uh, some comeuppance for all of his many crimes. And let's prepare to celebrate the repeated blows that will crush him into nothingness over the next couple of months. And let's do it together here. So like, subscribe, tickle, fondle, wiggle, kiss, whatever. Uh, and we'll see you here soon. Love to you all, unless you're a fascist. And oh my God, I can't wait.
this is going to be an awesome week. Love to y'all.